a biologist here at Creamers Field Migratory Waterfowl Refuge in Fairbanks, Alaska, and I'm going to share some information about the gathering of the sandhill cranes here at the refuge. This time of the year, there can be as many as 2,000 sandhill cranes gathering in this two or 300 acres of agricultural fields uh, in late August. And this is probably one of the best places in North America to see the young of the year cranes with their parents. The cranes we see here at Creamers this time of the year in late summer and fall are birds, are birds that have resided in this middle Tanana Valley. Now in the state, there can be as many as 300,000 sandhill cranes, but the cranes that gather here are middle Tanana Valley birds. We know that because in the past we've put out tra radio transmitters. We put out four transmitters and those birds stayed within a radius of about a hundred miles from this refuge. Here in the agricultural fields at the refuge, we'll see at the height of uh, staging as many as maybe 3,000 cranes within this 200 acres. Now they're here gathering um, to feed and staging getting ready for migration. They don't actually nest in these fields. Sandhill cranes will nest in more remote areas, open areas often surrounded by boreal forest, open areas that are maybe a little, a, a little marshy uh, with sedges and low herbaceous growth. So the cranes we see out here are one species, sand hill crane, but this time of the year there are some differences in their appearance because the adults are returning from their breeding areas and with them come their young of the year colt. That's the colloquial name for a, uh, a young of the year sand hill crane born this spring. So the things you'll notice, the difference, adult cranes do mate for life. You can identify an adult crane by the red pate, red featherless pate, plus the orange eye and generally a white cheek and a white throat. And the males and females um, have the same plumage color and characteristics. They're generally all gray. During the breeding season, they will paint their feathers with mineral stained mud they'll grab vegetation and rub the muddy vegetation through their feathers, but they can't reach their neck. So the neck and upper part of the head feathers are always that standard light gray color. The young of the year cranes, which you can see here now at Creamer's Field, appear quite a bit different once you take a close look. The young birds have approximately the same stature, they're the same height as the adults, but they lack the red pate. They have a, a brown feathered, a brown and gray feathered head. The eye is very dark, not orange at all. And the bill or the beak is sort of a peach color. And their plumage is generally brighter, a very bright russet color. When the sun strikes it, sometimes it looks almost orange.
other way to identify the young of the year from the adults is by the voice. Adult sandhill cranes have the rattling bugle. The young of the year haven't yet developed the long trachea, and they have a, a, a quavering whistle. Are there predators here at Creamer's Field? Yes, there are. There are avian predators and also mammalian mammal predators too. Coyotes are not uncommon here. Red foxes will also prowl around the edges of the field. Um, bald eagles. Bald eagles make regular forays here into the field, but do they prey upon the cranes? It's very rare to see a crane taken by a predator here. I've seen eagles feeding on cranes, but I've never seen them actually um, take the crane down as prey.